How do we choose our hobbies? Does it happen completely by accident or is a series of events that lead us to the things that we enjoy the most? Whatever happens, people choose hobbies for different things. Maybe it's because you're really good at something. Maybe you're seeking joy and fulfillment, or maybe you just want to be challenged. No matter the reason, we have inner motivation to return to these hobbies day in and day out. I have a love and hate relationship with hiking, but something just keeps pulling me back for more. And those mixed feelings are because somehow I often end up on the most difficult trails for hours on end. But today's hike was different and supposed to be easier. Or I thought, shall we start at the beginning? Not a bad coffee view. The only way you can find this trail empty is if you start at 6 a.m. just like we did. Uh, the whole trail belongs to us. It's a great option if you're looking for your first big hike in Spain. It has a steep start for the first hour. The rest of the hike is flat with these amazing views. the mountains and this is our trail for the next few hours. The first time we did this hike we took the wrong turn and had to approach this trail through this scary looking path. While it's really easy hike and the path is fairly wide, you still need to be really careful because in places there are some really big drops. Once you're on this flat section, it just keeps going and going and going. Let me show you what I mean. The biggest challenge of this hike is not a hike, it's finding a peace spot. <laughs> Since the trail follows this narrow path almost pretty much all the way, and if you're hiking during the peak hours, the hikers are coming from both ways. So there are almost no spots where you can go and have tea, especially if you're a woman. Like honestly, not a chance. How did that car go through this? Seriously. It's not that wide, yet it's so steep. Spanish people can really drive through narrowest roads ever. And this is not even a road, it's a hiking path. 
coffee spot. Very hot. But unexpected things happened. At this point, everyone turns around, but we decided to explore this amazing valley a little further before going back. A lot of regrets to follow. Remember when I said that most of the hike was flat? Well, this was the opposite. Thomas fighting his way. Um, there is tiny, tiny waterfall just over there. As a side note, Thomas was laughing at me that I packed too much water, um, although I packed three liters. Um, and we didn't drink a single sip on the way on the first 10 kilometers, because it was quite cold. We had coffee, we had smoothie on the way. And uh, now we're stuck in this overheated valley. Who's laughing with their water? <laughs> that waterfall was just an optical illusion. There is literally nothing there. kilometers later and four and a half hours. Still not even halfway through all of our hike. I think we'd be like about an hour away from the van, if not this extra hike. He's too frustrated to talk to me about the long walk. Should do it here. with this boy. I can see clear. So, that was fun. of the hike. Yeah. Somehow I have just done the longest hike ever without planning it. So next time you find yourself in the midst of struggle, remember that every step brings you closer to the summit.